What's good, what's good, what's good, y'all? Yeah, yeah. What's good, y'all? It's the biggest Ciroc, much finer vodka. You know everybody off the De Leon, off the tequila today. It's the Cinco de Mayo. But me, I'm, you know, I'm a vodka type of dude no matter what. So, y'all know what it is to rock. Much finer vodka. Mm. Woo! So, y'all know how I am on the planes. Yesterday, I'm on the plane. It's Azzy's birthday. And, you know, I take the private planes, you know, with my family, you know. Make them enjoy, you know what I'm saying? And that's what they like, fly stuff. But, you know, I'd rather take an American airline any day, a big plane. Uh, it was so smooth. But, you know, one of, it's my daughter's birthday yesterday. And so, um, it's my daughter's birthday. And so, she wanted to go with her friends away. And... Why not? I thought it was beautiful. And if we don't work for our kids, then who we work for, right? And so I said, you know what, baby? Get your friends. Let's get on the plane. Let's just, let, let's have fun. Let's go to Turks and Caicos. Get the biggest house on the ocean, on the beach, whatever. And so with me, I've come to the understanding with my life that we don't all live forever, you only live once. And with me, I want that when I pass away one day, my daughter and my children say, my father did whatever I wanted him to do. Now does that make sense? And so you know on the flight, one of the girls, one of her, her closest friends, for some reason they didn't have her name on the paper, you know, COVID test, we had it all done and everything. But, um, so we had to wait on the plane a little extra 30, 40 minutes. And so then I start really getting nervous because you know me, I don't like to fly for nothing. So, you know, I start drinking that some rock. And I get bent and it was a beautiful flight. Amazing pilots, man. Um, but you know, that's how I be. Um, happy birthday to my daughter the love of my life, uh, Azariah Malone, Cartagena. Uh, Y'all know her, the executive producer of the show. If it wasn't for Azariah, there would not be no big, big show. When COVID came and everybody was sad, everybody was going through stuff, she's the one who told me, turn on the live, dad, and, and, and talk to the people. And so I got on here and we never looked back since. I just, yo mama, you, being that you want to talk so much, everybody got the Colombia uh, flags. You know my wife is from Pereira, Colombia. Um, our prayers is with Colombia. Is there anything you know that I don't know about what's going on in Colombia? You don't talk? Okay, prayers for Colombia. Um, they're killing, I'm seeing videos of police officers pulling up, killing kids. And can I say that? On the side of the street. And so here we protest if a cop beats us up, if a cop does anything. Over there, the police are killing people. Corrupt. On camera. Corrupt. Killing people. If you don't believe me, look it up. They're murdering people. Lighting people on fire. Like straight evilness. And so if that's who got to protect and serve us, then, uh, like what the fuck you do? Like, and, and, and so I'm not going to lie to you, even since the Pablo days, it was so much corruption in I don't like going in, in countries that's just so much corruption because anything can happen here. 
I love Colombia. My family's over there and I love my family. Te quiero mucho. Uh, but, ¿quiere que yo hablo en español? ¿Qué tú crees? Que yo no hablo español. Yo soy boricua y cubano. Mi padrino es dominicano, mi esposa colombiano. Déjate de mierda, papito. Why do you think I don't know Spanish, man? This shit is crazy. And so what's happening is they're killing people. And we need some type of peace over there. And it's getting out of control. It's really, really getting out of control. And uh, my prayers is for Colombia. My heart, you know how I love you guys. But I mean, like, you know, it takes a special kind of person who's supposed to be a police officer to protect the people to just be pulling up on people and killing people. It's crazy. Nah, you know, they be trying to play me thinking, <laughs> you know, creen que yo no hablo español. Papi, déjate de eso, déjate de mierda, bro. Estamos hablando de algo serio aquí, papi. Estamos hablando de Colombia y los abusos, lo que está pasando allá afuera con los policías, que están matando a la gente. Estamos rezando para la gente de Colombia. Tú sabes que mi familia es de Colombia. Um, el abuso que tienen allá es, es increíble, brother. And so, that's what this show is about. This show is about educating and up lifting the people that's what it's all about and so uh it's crazy it's a global thing man with these cops it's a fucking global thing it's crazy bro what's going on out there and so my whole show today was about uplifting about god I'm in Turks and Caicos. I'm living my life. We bless. You know, we started from nothing. Just last week, four days ago, I was in Forest Projects. a and &E Channel was doing a documentary in there on me. So I walked through every milk and cranny, every hallway, every basement, everything, showing them where I first hustled, showing where I first, you know, was born, brought, got my immunization shots. All right, so I'm taking them through my whole hood, right? And I noticed, man, that uh, I thought it was bad, but I realized they weren't that bad. And so what I've been trying to do always from now is to look at the positive, right? So I said, man, you know what? As bad as I was, as bad as I was in Forest Projects, they never killed me. They tried. They never killed me. And the people never told. And so I said, damn, man, they really love me, man. <laughs> they let me live and they ain't tell on me. And so when you come to places like this and you make your daughter's dreams come true, I don't do this to brag. I do this for inspiration. Maybe you just work hard and you ain't got the money to take your daughter to some Turks and Caicos, but maybe you could take her to Disneyland. That's a trip you never was going to make because you couldn't put the effort. Maybe you was too tired. Maybe you a guy that likes to save your money all the time. But I'll tell you one thing. The Egyptians tried to take their treasures with them. Nobody will take the jewelry, the money, whatever, with them. And so you got guys so cheap, they work their whole life, three jobs, this, that. They save, and they never enjoy themselves. They never spend the money they work for. And so I don't believe in that. I believe in you only live once. I believe in enjoy your life as much as you can. And so that's what it's about for me. 
So if you see me, you say, damn, man, Joe, he be over here, over there all the time. He's just chilling. Yes, I am. And so what you got to understand is that I was born with nothing, with shit. I tell you this all the time. When it was too hot outside, we didn't have AC. We slept on the floor. My father's Cuban. When the Mariela happened that you see in Scarface with the boats and all that, they ain't have no money. He collected money with my moms and a couple of people. He went and bought the bummiest boat to go get my brothers and sisters in Cuba. When he got there, they only gave him two sisters and gave him 30 Cubans. He didn't even know them. But he came back. And the boat sunk by the Florida Keys. Thank God the Coast Guard saved him. And guess where all those Cubans ended up? In my projects in one time. And I don't know how he brought them all in New York. Julio Ecojo, Hernan, Cheche Cole. It's the guys who raised me and brought me up. So why wouldn't I be motivated? Why won't I be inspired? When I went to school, I used to have to walk on people to go to the front door. And so nobody showed me inspiration. Nobody showed me that we can make it. Nobody showed me that we could do it. But I try to show you this. Every chance I get. The devil's real. And he comes in sheep's clothing. You ever heard that saying, nothing's too good to be true? So I believe in a miracle. I believe in a, a supernatural God. I believe in our God is powerful, could do anything. When I pray at night, I pray for money. I pray for you. I pray for health. I pray for our families and everybody who needs prayer. And then I specifically pray for money. Very specific. Diti Barber, what's up? Please, God. Please make it rain on me. Which is supposed to pray for money. Your wife is right. Your wife is right. And so if I'm talking too positive or you're not with it, I turn it on because I believe in sharing the knowledge and the wisdom with everybody and the inspiration with everybody. But if I'm bothering you and I ain't talking mumbo jumbo, 6 9 hit the stage this week or something like that, let me see the fire signs if you want me to keep talking that shit. I'm not the first, nor will I be the last to gain some type of success. People did it before me, bigger. But I bring you along. And some people, they want to get it and want to act like they're better than everybody. They only one could get it. They don't share the... The, 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 the inspiration, the motivation with you. They don't bring you along. Fuck that. I'll show you. Hey, this guy from Forest, this guy on welfare, the number, the number spot boy. 
Because sometimes you have to see it to believe it. And I'm not asking for donations, guys. I'm spreading God's work for free. I'm not asking for donations. There's no ATM here. There's no cash app. There's none of that shit. Luis Miguel, cuídate mi hermano, te quiero mucho. Estoy hablando de Colombia y lo que está pasando allá afuera, pero tú te cuidas, ok. Te quiero con todo mi corazón. It's my brother-in-law. Well, how you do it? You never give up. And so everybody I have met that is successful, whether they're a baker, a carpenter, they own car service, they're artists, they, they, they never gave up. There's no failures, there's only lessons. There is no failures, there's only lessons. And every time you think you fall or you stumble and you don't make it happen, it's just the way of God giving you more knowledge for when you really get it. Does that make sense to you? Maybe you ain't ready for it. I'm getting mad as shit. I wish I was 10 years younger and I knew what I knew now. But it was his plan, yo, Joe. It's his plan. He said, yo, man, this, this is, you know, because cause I've been rich, I've been broke, I've been broke, I've been rich, I've been broke, I've been rich, I've been... You know, I've been everything. Never been pussy. Let's keep it positive. Uh, and so, why not dream big? But well, I'm gonna tell you another secret. When you go past the nice section of your of, of where you front. Everybody that lives in them big houses didn't get it from rapping or playing basketball. There's so many ways to get your hands on money. So many ways. It don't have to be in front of the camera. That's what God made me do. Get in front of the camera. But yet, that's not. Don't have to be you. Billy Blanco, what's up? Yeah, my wisdom is just from experience. Like, I'm not the smartest guy in the world. I'm not up here trying to act like I'm the smartest guy in the world. I know what. I'm just trying to tell you from a real one. You know, because when I post mansions and privates, and I just want you to know I work for everything and nobody gave me shit. And guess what? I'm trying to share it with you. If I didn't see Lord Finesse and my projects become a fucking rapper with a record deal, I would have never become Fat Joe. I'm telling you. If Lord Finesse would have never been Lord Finesse, I would have never believed that I could become a rapper. So sometimes I try to show you. And I don't try to act holier than thou. Oh, I'm bigger than you. I know some shit. You know, I'm smarter than you. No. NFTs. They're big. Cryptocurrency. Even bigger. See, people like living comfortable and mediocre because they think it's safer than, than being uncertain. Learn that from a friend today. They'd rather live a regular life than to be on the, on, on the wild side. You got $500, you got $1,000, you got $5,000, figure out the cryptocurrency.
Shout out to the Omi B dot. That's where it's at. Cryptocurrency is where average people can get rich. I invested in some today. And when I call my girl Vanessa, and I love you, Vanessa, and she said, oh, let's invest a thousand dollars. I said, hell no, man. That ain't no money for me. We got to invest this. Oh, you short? I said, no. I don't care if I lose it. But you have to invest. See, money, let me tell you, I had a boy name. I don't think I should tell you his name. He made a lot of money when we was younger. We was hustling. He wasn't a gangster, but they trusted him. So you got to understand, the wilder you are, the least people trust you. And if you're in the streets where there's no law because you're hustling, if you give something to the tough guy, he might just break out with your shit. Tell you, fuck you. You ain't as tough as him. So they always, if you ever notice, it's always the nice guys who make the most money. Which is cool. This was my guy. He made a lot of money. He retired. He said, I'm retired. Had a lot of money at the time. But years later of not doing nothing, thank God he changed his life. He kept spending his money. Spending his money on his bills. Spending his money. He wasn't a, 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 a extravagant. But... All money runs out. There is no such thing as you having money and it, you spending it and spending it. The more, no more money comes back in. It's going to run out. And so money is made to invest. You don't have to be rich, bro. But try to invest long term. Not long term. I'm not telling you what to do. I'm not a stock expert. But what I'm saying is, instead of going to the gambling spot, bet a thousand dollars on some cryptocurrency. If you lose, you lose. Me, I might have a little bit more money than most of you guys. So I gotta bet more. And I'm not a gambler, but I know what's moving. You want to know? The hood want to know? That's where it's at. It won't tell you that. But you know what makes me happy? Seeing you happy. I never get the, the lyric right because I'm the worst. I forget people's names. Never a face, but names. And lyrics, I am the worst. Remy be wanting to slap me silly. Remy be wanting to slap me silly. Because I always get the verses wrong. But Jay-Z said, something we got to help each other so we can be each other's crutches. And that's always been my motto. If I win, you win. You win, I win, you win. And then when one of us is hurting, we come up and we pick them up. You should not but want to be the only person with money. There's people that get money and they just want to do it to their own family. You got the family member that walks up in the, in the, in the Thanksgiving and all that like they shit don't stink. They only want to be the only ones with money. No one can fall because we'll be each other's crutches. Exactly. So that means we got to lift everybody up. We got to win. And when Khaled puts out the number one album, we got to jump up and down and do the kid and play dance. Because our brother won. My sister Remy, she's shooting a movie. Proud of her. Everything's impossible 
till someone does it. Listen. Everything's impossible till someone does it. What's up, mama? You looking so sexy, baby. You want to wave at my people, my one time for Colombia. Colombia's on here heavy. Hold up. Yo, Swiss. <laughs> Swiss is on here. Swiss, I love you, brother. I got that for you, Swiss. The bucket hat ain't that. Mike, could you say hi? It's a Colombian. No, I right, forget it. Then. You want to say hi to the. Uh, look at Khaled and Remy uh, B. Dot says. Say hi. You want to say hi? Hello. Mike, could you talk Colombian for the Colombian people? Like a Estamos little... rezando para los colombianos. Estamos unidos juntos. Okay, Luis Miguel is watching. I know. Okay. So prayers for the people of Colombia. Atrocities are happening out there. Shout out to We Work and Swiss Beats on the check-in. I love you, Swiss. The mayor is on the check-in. And so everybody's on the check-in. Let me go. I was, I was on my shit. So I said, nothing's impossible. Everything's impossible. To somebody makes it possible. So you could imagine before they was flying and shit. And they, nobody thought they could fly. And somebody made it possible. I don't know who did it. I'm not a philosopher. I'm not trying to dig up fossils and shit. I'm just telling you. That could you imagine. That any somebody looked up at the air and said we could fly. So nothing's possible. To someone does it. But you steady telling yourself, no, we can't do it. We not the ones. Oh, you know, this is against me. This is like, you got to stop. And we got to stop hanging out with these people. You know, these people come around you and they drain you. They come in miserable. And they're around you like, and you happy. You busting a couple moves, you had a couple of meetings, you doing whatever you can do. But they always miserable. And we got to keep it real. That's right, somebody said positive attitudes bring positive results. And so I'm not the one, I've never been there, the one. I'll tell you what it is. And that's a fact. Everything's possible with God on your side. That is a fact. And so my daughter got what, four or five? What, four? Four of her closest friends here. And uh, these are nice girls. Okay, they all 14, 15. You know, these are nice girls. Huh? With great parents. And, you know, I, you know, I don't want to preach, but I try to let them know. All dudes ain't shit. No, I'm just talking shit. <laughs> no, nah, nah, you know. <laughs> uh, happy Mother's Day is coming up. Shout out to my mother and everybody's mother. Shout out to Envy and his wife. Um, it's their anniversary. I love DJ Envy and Gia, uh, their whole family. My God bless them. You know. Um, and so, one thing I never do is bring in yesterday's drama today. And so, if I had a shitty day, if I had a bad day, I won't bring it into the next day. I won't bring it into the next day. And so, um, shout out to Mama Crap. You want to know what's crazy is I talk with my hands. This is some New York shit, right? And the other day I was looking back at when we had uh, 
Julius Randle, that's when I got the blue magic from Pristine, the big blue stone. And um, and I was talking like this. I said, damn, Joe, you trying to show off. But I'm realizing today I got no jury on its hand and I'm still doing that. Thank God. You know, I almost thought I was getting gas myself. Um, um, what was I talking about just now, Ma? Yeah, not bringing uh, yesterday's energy if it was fucked up the next day. And if you do that, that's when that depression comes in. And nobody wants depression. So if you feel for a second like you might be getting really depressed, walk away from whatever makes you feel like that. Whatever makes you feel like that. So I wake up every day with new energy. I pray to God, God bless me. And let's move forward. Because I can't keep dwelling on the past. You know, you got guys who started using drugs because of something traumatic in their life. But now they use drugs for four or five years. It's the past. And they still dwelling on that. And they work and their life is getting worse. Stop that if you don't want to get smacked in your head. Don't play with me. Shit. Yo, y'all crazy. All of y'all. And so, uh, yeah, that's a fact. And you got to work on that. You know what I'm saying? Mental health, you got to work on that. Some people say Dogecoin. Dogecoin, yeah, I got some stock in that. That's a good one. See, I don't want to tell you what I invested in today because I don't want you to think I'm trying to get y'all to invest in some shit. But look into the cryptocurrency. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to tell you. And then you're thinking, oh, Joe, you know, nah, bro. Just look in there. Our mental health is too real. Mental health is too real. And, and it bothers me to see a lot of our people losing their minds out there talking to themselves, stuff like that. That really bothers me. Don't know why. Don't know what it was in my past life. Don't know. But when I see somebody like that, that's sad to me. Somebody who's talking to themselves, who's... A, that's sad to me. Butter, butter, what's good? And so that's how that shit go. And what I do is I learn from others' mistakes. And so... I have family members, friends, beautiful people, smart people, fuck up their life on drugs. I don't have to use the drugs to know that I might fuck up my life. I don't have to. You know, one day I went to visit Pitbull. By the way, when I went through my tax problem, he is the only person in the rap game that offered to help me, but I wouldn't accept it out of pride. So Pitbull has a special place in my heart because although I wouldn't take the help, it feels good to know somebody might help you. So I'm sitting down with Pitbull one day and we'd be sitting this on the water and he got like these old Cuban guys behind him. And they all talking about buying banks and schools and sh like big shit we never heard of, right? And I look at Pitbull and I'm like, yo, man. Yo, how you get this? He said, I learned from your mistakes. 
Now, you could take that as disrespect. Like, I think I'm a smart guy. But he kept it real and said, I learned from your mistakes. And so, and so, I took that with a grain of salt and said, all right, he kept it real. He learned from my mistake. He said, yo, man, you should have signed Rick Ross. You should have signed me. You should have, th th he was telling me everything that he saw. He said, but you didn't, man. And so I was like, okay. And I learned from him. I mean, he's, he's, he's one of my best friends. I love him to death. Um, but I, you have to learn from others' mistakes. If somebody smokes crack and they say it's the best shit in the world, but they're missing their teeth and they got no crib and they, they I don't want to smoke the shit. Does that make sense? Social media got everybody running around here acting like what they're not. Keep it true to yourself. I mean, we like we like to look good. We like to post it on the gram. But it's one thing if you live in some shit you ain't. And so you out here trying to be something you're not. And you don't want to be the guy in the crew wearing everybody else's jewelry trying to act like you got the bread. Go and get it. Ladies, you got to watch out. You see four or five cute guys? One of them got the bread. The homies are rocking their chain. You're fucked. You get with this one, you're fucked. You're fucked. You picked the wrong friend. Picked the wrong guy in the crew. Cousin Miriam. <laughs> no, I keep it a thousand. You might get, you, you might, you might, hey, listen, man, you might fall for a beautiful, beautiful chick that's a piece of shit. I have. I have no one's perfect. You might fall for the fall for the devil in sheep's clothing. She looked beautiful and everything sweet, but before you know, you're fucked. You're with Psycho 101. D nice, what's up, baby? D nice was good. Happy Cinco de Mayo. And I'm not a politician. And somebody just said, Fat Joe for the president of the Bronx. I could never do that. I done been in them streets too bad. I'm outside, outside. Drop, what's up? But I might tell you who I would vote for in the Bronx. I might tell you soon who I would vote for in the Bronx Borough President race. And I tell you now, it's a female. And I tell you now, she's black. But I won't announce the name yet. It's time to whip it up, baby. And so what happens is everybody talks about change. Oh, this, this is the... Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, sh I'm going. <laughs> I'm going. And so, everybody talks about change. But are you ready for change? And so we go, yo, we wish more blacks and Latinos would have... Uh, 
power companies and this and this and that. And then somehow there's some bureaucracy or some legal shit or some political shit where you have to go through a black or a Latino who's the boss to get some type of permission or whatever. And they the ones yelling about, yo, we need more diversity. But yo, we here. We trying to make moves. Historical moves for black and brown people. And you in power. You black. You Latino. Where you at when you we need you to go? Hey, let's do it. And so you can't keep telling yourself, yo, we need something. We need change. We need this. When you there and you ain't co-signing. Man, oh man. Ciroc. <laughs> How much finer vodka? Revolt TV every Tuesday. I could have went. Plenty of channels hitting me up. Joe, we want you to be here. We want you to be there. We want you to be there. I said, no, I'm going to Revolt, man. I'm going where it feels like home. And see, with me, uh, it's undebatable. It's like, you know, this guy keeps it to 10,000. No matter what. And it ain't because you're watching. It's because that's who I am in my heart. And I've been allowed to, to, to live like this and follow my dreams and support my people and still live great. I ain't got to be something I'm not. I hate when I see people being something they're not. Faking it. Trying to be with people. You know they wouldn't even be with these people, bro. Shout out to the Knicks. My Knicks. We seen Stephen A. Smith. He's screaming loud. I do. Somebody said nobody cares about Celine. I do. I love to be fly. If you ain't noticed that by now, <laughs> you'll never notice it. I do, Papito. And everybody got a problem. Some people gamble too much. Some people drink too much, smoke too much, have sex too much. Everybody got some shit. My shit is I like to be fly. So I blow the bag and then every now and then my accountant calls me be like, yo, come on papito, you bugging. And then I go back to a black tea and chill for a little bit. Then I come back out to play. You know me, that's what I like to do. Everything I ever did in life was to get fly, to get fresh, to live good. That's what it's about. For me, it don't have to be, you know, some people don't care. Man, I told you, the one time I smoked the weed, I ran out the house butt naked. And I was Fat Joe already. And she said, get in the car, get in the Lexus, Joe. I said, I'm going to die. I was having like a panic attack. I'm going to die. I got to go to the hospital with a heart attack. Joe, we get in the car. I take you. She went around the block. I took 10 showers. And I said, you know what? I love weed. I'm just scared to run out the house butt naked. So never judging. 
I know how powerful weed is medicinal. I know how powerful it is to calm people down. I'm learning there's different strains of weed. I ain't mad at it. My brother Scott Storch has a rehabilitation center. Somebody who's on drugs has a rehabilitation center based off of weed. Weaning people off of big drugs from weed. It smells good, right? <laughs> I feel the same way. But I feel like I'm going to run out the house naked, man. I swear. <laughs> no, I swear. <laughs> Listen, stop being he- envious. Stop being jealous. Stop, stop being mad at other success because you're mad at yourself. Because you ain't get off your ass and do it. Jealous ones envy. And so I always look from a, from a lens of inspiration. I tell you this every night. This ain't no new shit I'm telling you. If I see Puff Daddy a uh, billion dollars, I'm happy. Jay-Z billion happy. 50 Cent, all the TV shows, I'm happy. I'm happy for you if I don't even know you. So everybody got to be happy for each other and use stuff as inspiration. Listen, guys, put God first. Telling you, the man move mountains, the man do everything. And even when you think he ain't with you, he's with you. The other night we were leaving uh, Jim Jones and Chrissy's, Chrissy's birthday, Jim Jones' wife, and we got up the highway, and a fucking car came this way on the highway. I mean, this way on the highway. Like, Against the highway. I've never seen that in my life. One time. But against the highway. So say we're going up north 95. Somebody's on the up north 95 coming south. Like coming against. If we didn't see him, he could have hit us. And that's it. We was dead. Which player was driving? If we did not see him, we could have died. And we prayed for him when he passed us. Yo, God bless him, yo, he's going to kill somebody, they're going to die. I don't know if it was a he or a she. Somebody said, you cursing and you're a Christian. Listen, bro, I got my own relationship with God. It's called give back to the people. It's called be righteous. Be great to your family. Inspire others. Spread love, spread joy. I'm sorry if I don't meet your criteria. But God too real with me. Saved my life too many times. It didn't make sense. I always tell you the story. It's an exaggeration, but it's true. I've watched bullets go like this. You turn. Can't tell me God ain't real. He showed up every time. He showed up every time. He showed up that night. The car doing 100 miles per hour the wrong way. If we was on this lane, if we would have been on this lane, we was dead. I don't make no money off of telling you God is real. I'm not a preacher. I don't got the ATM machine on the side of the I'm just telling you the truth. Could you imagine not having God in your life? I know that some people don't believe in God. That's, that's got to be a real lonely place.
And I've always wondered, something happened, somebody shot you, you're about to die, you taking your last breath. Do you say, nah, God ain't real? Or you pray to God? What's the real question about the industry? Don't be a nincompuff. Ask me the question and I'll answer it. Don't be a nincompuff, an idiot, and ask me about uh, Illuminati and shit like that. If Illuminati was real, I'd be uh, sitting on the board. If that meant that every record I put out would go number one and I'd be the richest guy in the world, yeah. I've never met an Illuminati in my life. <laughs> all right, y'all. Let your darkest moments. I'm all the way in Turks and Caicos, so I probably can't see the Knicks. I'm looking for it all over. At least I got CNN. You know what I'm saying? Once again, nothing but love for the people of Colombia. God bless them. Let's pray for them. I don't know what could we do to change what's going on there. But uh, God bless. Shout out my brother DJ Khaled. I'm very, 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 very uh, proud of you. I love you. Uh, you work hard. All COVID, I was in your house and you was just working on this music. And you be, I'll be right next to you and you're on your headphones and you listening to stuff. What's the matter with me? Well, I'm not doing nothing wrong. No, I just try to uh, inspire. That's rich player to God. The Haitian persuasion. And, uh, I try to inspire the people. You know, sometimes we got some nincompoofs, some dummies that ask the dumbest shit, so then you're just like, yo, bro, I'm trying to put you up on real game. These guys don't pay me nothing to hang out with me every day. Now, I'm trying to give you the, 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 the work. <laughs> I'm trying to give you that work. You know what my best purchase was? Shout out to Hovey, baby. My best purchase was investing in my family. Never go wrong. Priceless, showing love to my mother, my father, my sons, my daughters, my wife. That's the most important thing to me. And then you guys. Because I'm here for a reason. God saved my life 30, 40 times so I could do shit like this. And hopefully one of y'all, it could get a, a light bulb could go off on one of y'all. And you'll be successful. And I already know. I already know, bro. I've been in the streets. I was in New York all week. I see y how, how y'all love it. And now it's like, yo, God bless you, Joe. Bendy Shum. And thank you to, for showing me love and praying for me. 